Hey everyone, welcome back to another episode of The Vegan View. On today's episode, we are super excited because we have my friend here, Derica Mayweather, who is an amazing hairstylist and vegan content creator. about you so yeah. can you just give us a little rundown about where you're from and your vegan journey awesome well i am from arkansas north little rock arkansas oh, i Rose. am from arkansas no way i was born in little rock arkansas <laughs> <laughs> this That's never crazy. happens on the show for hannah hannah never meets anyone from arkansas i never meet anyone from arkansas <laughs> That's crazy. Yeah, across the bridge. Yes. wow yeah. how long have you been out here i've been out here since i was 15 so but little rock i only lived there till i was five and then we moved to um, northwest arkansas so we, mm. i'm mostly from bentonville arkansas mm. you're familiar yes is yeah. that where like Walmart? by fayetteville mm -hmm. yeah yeah yes yeah. Cool. <laughs> Oh, but my family's in Little Rock, so oh, mine yeah. too. Yeah, I'm the only one out here. So. I know. Oh my From gosh. one but country girl to is, the next. Going back is rough still. The vegan options are real. I slim. have to just cook every time because yeah. there's nothing. I know. I know. Wow. That's great. <laughs> I was like Arkansas. <laughs> And honestly, it's a real though, state. Like, it is. The, the air quality, first of all. Oh, yeah. Let's oh, start there. Yes. Love good air quality. The greenery. <laughs> no, the greenery is just lush. And like, I honestly, I think it's one of the most beautiful places ever. It is. It's I just really very Hawaii. Li I'm sorry. Literally, if you drive from Little Rock to Northwest Arkansas, it's just green rolling hills. Oh, it's that's okay. so beautiful. I'll it's look it up on mountains, YouTube. Mountains. Wow. Lakes. It's it really is pretty. I'm, I'm not just saying that. trying to play this, but it's like, yeah, I, don't, I don't want to move back, but I'm telling you, it's pretty. If you ever get to go, let us know down below if you're from Arkansas, so you can be a part of this girl squad they got going yeah. on. Or we should go visit Arkansas because apparently it's amazing. They need yes. they need the vegans out there screaming for vegan yes. food. I know. Every time I go, I'm just like. There's a few, but. <laughs> yeah. So. yeah. They're they they're getting better, but they are so slow. They're so behind, mm -hmm. you know, where like California is, of course. So yeah. you can find food everywhere. I know, so. we're so lucky. We are. Yeah. That's amazing. Yay. So how did you go vegan in Arkansas? Oh, Arkansas. Okay. <laughs> so when I was in Arkansas, I was not vegan. I didn't um transition okay. until I moved to Los Angeles. Okay. And I've tried before. Um, I lived in Texas before I moved here. Mm -hmm. And I think I stuck, I stuck with it for like two months and then I reverted back. But I think what really solidified it for me this go round was at first I was going because, I mean, I switched to veganism because it was like healthier, but then I started doing a lot of research as far as like, animal cruelty and mm -hmm. you know that kind of like gave me nightmares yeah so yeah i'm never going back yeah. Yeah. Here, so wow yeah. how long has it been so far three years wow three years. so did you go vegan during covid no um did i <laughs> no 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 because it'll be four years in october okay oh, nice, okay. So wait, yeah. nice. Right before. Right before. So. That's amazing. So, Thank you. So was that tough for you being kind of a new vegan in COVID? Because you were kind of left to your own, your own devices. Just like it's you and it's the stove. Like, <laughs> that's the moment of truth. Well, I will say prior to me fully going vegan, I still incorporated vegan meals. Okay. Um, so it was easy. Okay. Like I played around with 
my favorites like vegan nachos and yeah. vegan soul food and mm -hmm. stuff like that so mm -hmm. once I fully committed mm -hmm. it wasn't really that hard plus in LA is so many different like mm -hmm. restaurants and takeout yeah. and delivery so mm -hmm. we're lucky it's pretty yeah, easy yeah we are we're yeah. spoiled yeah. Wow. What like now what I'm really focusing on is it's not just food. It's clothing. Mm -hmm. It's you know, it's it's a lifestyle. It's so it's like lifestyle. everything, you yes. know? Yeah. So And did you have anyone around you that like helped you on the journey or did you have anyone that you looked up to? Like how did you just <gasps> go full out and just be like, Okay, I'm vegan and I'm just gonna cook and you know, did you have any support or anything? Absolutely not. Um, <laughs> my friend group, I want to say I'm the only one. And so when it comes to going out to eat and like even trips and stuff, it's kind of difficult because yeah. I'm mm -hmm. like the oddball. Like, yeah. I'm kind of starving and everyone's eating steak. <laughs> yeah. And lobster. Oh, yeah. yeah. I'm, I'm, I'll get a salad. Yeah. yeah. That's why I love traveling like with, with vegans. vegans. Yeah. 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 It can be isolating that like social aspect of things. Mm -hmm. Like, you know, how do you, how do you maintain like your strength in those moments where it's like, you know, this sucks sometimes like to put it point blank. Like sometimes you just wish that you could blend in and like not have to be like, okay, I'm going to be the, Weirdo eating the salad. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Now I'm very firm, mm -hmm. um, and my friends know if you don't pick a restaurant that doesn't have options, I yeah. won't be in attendance. Right. Because yeah, I, I refuse that. to spend how much are salads out here? Yeah. Twenty two. Yeah. Twenty twenty five dollars yeah. for something that I wouldn't eat. Yeah. Regardless. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So mm -hmm. they know now I'm not. I'm not coming. So. Joy has said that before that that's what she does. And yeah. Like she'll if if they go somewhere she'll go eat somewhere else and yeah. then meet up with and people meet after. Up after. Yeah. Or I'll yeah. eat if it's like something serious then mm -hmm. I'll eat beforehand. Like if it's yeah. a birthday celebration I won't be selfish. But if it's just like oh let's go out yeah. to yeah. Ruth Chris right for yeah. what. I won't be there. Yeah. yeah. Right. So. Oh, I yeah. wish I had the like guts to do that more often because I feel like that happens often where my friends, I think I just, you know, they just don't think about it, which well, on the nice. one hand, I'm like, well, I'm glad you don't like identify me as the annoying vegan in your mind 100% of the time. Yeah. On the other hand, it would be nice if I was thought about yeah, because I am going to now yeah. struggle. Yeah. And yeah, it's like, so do you, are you just like, I'm not, I'm not coming because there's no vegan food. Is that like what you say? If, if, necessarily put it like that yeah <laughs> um, I would put it more like oh man I have stuff I need to catch up on mm -hmm. so sorry but after yeah. I ask where are we going Dang it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 I Oops. just remembered yeah. Yeah. Oh, I gotta uh, get up early. a good way to do it is to just be like I just looked at their menu and there's nothing for me sadly and then sad face and then the balls in their core yeah. Yeah. they're either gonna be like okay well see you later and then you're, you can like, then I'd be like, I guess or, we're not friends anymore. Or yeah. right. <laughs> let's find somewhere else then. You yeah. have a place. Or you, then it kind of like opens it up. Yeah. yeah. So you mentioned that you reverted back at one point. I'm really interested to hear why because we have a lot of issues with vegans like, you know, going back on it. And I'm just curious what it was for you. Just to understand. I don't know if you guys have ever been to Texas. Dallas, I, Texas. Yes. Mm -hmm. yes. So there are a bunch of different food options and temptation. You got the barbecue soul food. So it was just because I wasn't really, I guess, dedicated and more so focusing on the food and health aspect, which yeah. honestly kind of doesn't make sense because I reverted to BS food anyway. <laughs> um, yeah, That's how it happened. So yeah, it's right. easy to revert yeah. back when it's just based on your health because you when can just, just be like, oh, I'll have a little cheat day. I'll have right. a little cheat here and there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, uh -huh. there needs to be incentive. And obviously when you're, you know, thinking about the fact that what's on your plate is a living being mm -hmm. or yeah. was at one point, you know, that gives you a little more incentive to stick to being vegan. It's just a diet then, you know, like any diet, regardless of whether it's vegan or not, I feel like you're more tempted to have like, oh, a little cheat meal, a little cheat day, mm -hmm. or just full on binge catastrophe. Just it's yeah. easier when it's just a diet. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You're not going to cheat on your ethics. Right. That's yeah. true. Exactly. I mean, you can, but. That says it's hard, a lot it's, about who you are. Yeah. yeah. It defeats the purpose of having yeah. ethics in the first place. I feel, I feel like if you're doing it for ethical reasons, and I've been asked this a lot, like, oh, you don't feel like cheating? Is there anything you missed? And I'm like, right. no, because it's not a diet. Like, it's a, it's a lifestyle, and I know mm -hmm. this is how I am. If I'm craving a burger, I'm not craving, like, a meat burger. I'm not craving, like, right. yeah. I'm not craving to get away from veganism, craving right. a burger. So I'll go get a vegan burger. Right, and yeah. one thing that people don't realize is that, like, most vegans, we're not vegans because meat 
taste bad mm -hmm. or like yeah. like I remember yeah. how delicious seafood was right. and how yeah. you know delicious hot wings were like I remember how delicious all these things were yeah. but I could never revert back because yeah. I know I know too much I know the cruelty that comes yeah. with it I know that animals are getting slain for that to even arrive on your plate so there's yeah. no world where I would ever revert back no matter how I can look at something and be like, oh yeah, I know that tastes delicious. Yeah. But I would never taste it and I never feel tempted to taste it because it's animal cruelty. Yeah. yeah. And if anybody What's... ever asked me that in 2023, I'd be like, every meal that you can think of, we... there is an alternative. Mm, yeah. There's a vegan alternative. So yes. like I could have a hot dog, I could have a burger, I could have chicken wings, I could have whatever yeah. I want. Yeah. So there's nothing yeah. that I can miss that I can't have vegan. Was there a moment that you when like that you made that connection where you're like I have no temptations anymore like those temptations I'm I could go to Dallas Texas you know today and not feel tempted like was there something that happened or was it over time that you were like okay now this is all clicking when I tried to disco round I switched over cold turkey okay what? Um, because I developed a gluten allergy. Mm. And so I had to talk with myself in the mirror and I was like, look, <laughs> <sighs> let's have this moment mm -hmm. and let's just go all the way back to what we once liked. So, yeah. no, like you said, there's literally an alternative for everything. Mm -hmm. And I think my weakness was cheese, mm -hmm. but there's so many vegan cheeses now. You can make yeah. your own vegan cheese. Yeah. And it's yeah. like, I don't really... Hmm. And it's so exciting to see how fast the vegan movement has grown. Yeah. Because they're coming out with cheeses that taste more and more like cheese. Like every year, I feel like. Yeah. It's yeah. just getting closer and closer that to the That actually melts, you know, yeah. get the stringy. And now they yeah. have like vegan artesian cheeses like that are oh, like yeah. blue cheese and whatnot. And it's I, like insane to me. Yeah. I got a vegan uh, blue cheese from the farmer's market and I was really Ooh. excited to try it. Like full disclosure, I'd never tried blue cheese before going vegan. I wasn't very much of a cheese person. Definitely more of a vegan cheese person now than mm -hmm. I was before. Um, but it was really sour and tastes mm -hmm. really nice. So I'm like, oh, that's probably what the original one tasted like. Yeah. So there's, they're making everything now. So if you yeah. like that stuff, that stuff is out there now. Yeah. You can get it. Yeah. And like one thing I want to touch on is if you don't know Derica, you need to follow her <laughs> because she makes the most delicious recipes and some of them have gone viral. And people are constantly in your comments saying, Why are you calling this chicken if it's not chicken? Like why can't vegans just give the name? So, so can annoying. you can you explain like what you what your clapback is? Because yes. I see it all the time in your comments and I feel like you always have the perfect answer. Well, sometimes it's a subtle clap back and sometimes I gotta, you know. <laughs> so um, I actually made a video where I actually just broke it down for me mm -hmm. as far as why I make certain foods that either use the word or looks like it. Right. Yeah. Um, so for me, especially when I first started, you know, cooking and doing different recipes, it was like a mind thing. Like, okay, if I'm saying this is like a vegan burger or a vegan mm -hmm. cold pork sandwich, it lets me know this is what this is gonna taste similar to. Mm -hmm. So now that I'm, you know, showing different recipes and stuff on social media, like I want other people to know, okay, mm -hmm. this isn't what it is, but you can expect for this to be a similar taste. Yeah. Right. Know? Yeah. So another thing that I think I've realized lately is when people say, Why are you calling it this when it's not the real thing? And it's like, well, Pork is not anything. It's a pig. It's a made of pork. If you're gonna, yeah. if you're gonna you be mad, pig. if you're gonna be mad about or a hot dog, a, hot, a dog, this, then yeah. call call it what it is. Yeah, you call it a bread pig. chicken. There aren't like live breaded chickens out in the wild. You bread chicken and then you turn it into a dinosaur shape. Been on the earth for and call it a and then you call years. it a nugget. Yeah, and then you call oh, it a nugget. Man. Why are you trying to eat a breaded bird shaped like a dinosaur put into an air fryer? Like, or like a hot dog is not a dog. It's literally hot. like right. It's literally <laughs> crushed up 
animal parts and like all different parts of the animal. Right. Like, like why are they so cigarette bud from the meat yeah. industry? Why are, like, are they so bothered by it? Like know, who are right? you defending? The chickens? Right. Are you defending right. the chickens because the chickens <laughs> wouldn't want to be called They're that? Like, no, no. Why are you calling this a vegan <laughs> egg? Yeah. Please why are you calling this vegan eggs vegan eggs? Please don't let the big chickens be called chickens. Yeah. Also, from now on, I really want to be like. Well, your steak. What is steak? It's right. a cow. What yeah. steak? It's yeah. a cow. And also, is it going to sound that luxurious if I'm like, actually, that's a cow? Yeah. Because you know, people think like, oh, I'm going to have a steak, a wagyu steak, or yeah. filet yeah. mignon, or whatever. And Honestly, like, what even is that? It's a cow. It's a yeah. cow. Anytime yeah. I hear these two words, ribs or oxtails, Ugh. I'm just like so disgusted because I'm like, you're literally eating someone's ribs, yeah. and you're literally eat- an oxtail is like. The, the cow's butt. You're literally, you're literally, you're literally eating a cow's around. butt. <laughs> People go crazy over oxtails. People yeah. love oxtails. I'm like, a cow's butt tastes that delicious? Like, I just oh. don't get it. Yes. Oh, I got another one for you. What? I don't know if your family ate. Chitlins. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. Chitterlings. Mm-hmm, chitlins. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yeah. Yep, that's gross. Pig what is, intestines. What is chitlins? Pig intestines. Oh, pig intestines. Pig which, intestines. Which I... Everything. Yeah, people eat everything, which yeah. I understand because, you know, there's reasons why, but we don't... This is why I'd be trying to, like, represent for my people is we don't have to eat the slave food anymore. Come on. We don't have to eat the chitlins. We were given the leftovers, and we made something out of nothing, and that's beautiful, but we don't have to do that anymore, and it's killing us. Mm-hmm. Thank you. Because <laughs> it pisses Stand me up. off. <laughs> we're, not, we're, we're in 2023. We're in 2023. No, yeah, we, why are we eating pig's intestines? Right. Yeah. Why? Yeah. Why are we doing that? Yeah. Or pig's feet? Right. Oh. Never also, mind. another reason why like we eat things that we eat, like, oh, why are you eating this thing? Aren't you vegan? It's like, well, do you want us to eat like unseasoned tofu and like raw kale all day? Like, because yeah. we come from very, like, like I mentioned, yeah. we come from dar- various cultures. Yeah. Various different backgrounds, walks yeah. of life. We, were, we all grew up differently. Even yeah. if you were from the same town, you guys like grew up in different families. So you probably had similar food, but like different food. You yeah. grew up with like different like stories. So yeah. you're gonna, you still want to appreciate your family and your family yeah. history and yes. still use those recipes, but now veganize them yeah, and make yeah. them better. So why wouldn't you do that? If you have like X recipe that like it's been eating for generations, why wouldn't you want to make it vegan and really like? pay like respect to that with while also yeah. paying respect to animals by not consuming their bodies and yes. it's like a win-win for everyone like why yeah. wouldn't you want to do that mm-hmm. yeah i think it's so awesome that you share gluten-free content as well because i don't think there's many vegans in the space that are doing that and mm-hmm. like to be sharing you know recipes that are close to you that are gluten-free i think is amazing so definitely go follow her if you're not yeah. but um what challenges do you run into because i think a lot of people can't wrap their mind around gluten-free i i did it a little while but it was before i was vegan now that i'm vegan i do rely a, a very heavily on like you know wheat bread and yeah. things like that so what challenges come up and like how do you think that people have a misconception of gluten-free and like how you can eat gluten-free? Hmm, I really don't get a lot of like questions or pushback about gluten. Mm-hmm. Um, I think- Probably because all the food you make just looks yeah. amazing. Yeah. You just don't even think of that it's right. gluten-free. Yeah. Yes, um, I think because people do have a lot of gluten allergies out there, um, there's a lot of different options now yeah. as far as breads and pancakes and pastries and yeah. you know all of that. Even what you fry with, you don't have to yeah. use typical right. flour. You can use, yeah. for me, I use garbanzo flour. Oh, for, yeah. yeah, and it's good. Yeah. It gives you the crunch. So um, <laughs> it's really, I mean, it's, it's simple. I feel like that, I get a, I guess a better reaction from that than Oh, and then and I'm the vegan, vegan too. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, you know what I just thought about? Maybe people don't react negatively to you doing gluten free versus gluten because people aren't like emotional about you not eating gluten, gluten whereas right. they're emotional about you not eating animals because then that's, then suddenly it's like, oh, well, then my morals are being placed into question because, right. oh, you don't eat animals. So you're saying, you know, by default, you're saying that like, me eating animals is bad, but no one feels that way about gluten. Right. You know what I mean? Yeah. yeah. It's like they're almost like defensive about the animals, yeah. but not about gluten. Yeah. It's gluten. Like, okay. It's like oh, okay. Yeah. That's okay. Cool. You oh, do. Yeah. You. Yeah. yeah. It doesn't affect me that you're not eating bread, but the moment you stop eating chicken, then it's like, oh, uh-huh. why? I'm offended now. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And like with my friends and my my 
personal circle. I try to not even try. I just don't. I never judge them for what they mm-hmm. eat. Mm-hmm. And I hope the way that I, you know, talk and communicate online kind of shows that as well. Like I'm never yeah. judging you. You can do what you want. I'm just trying mm-hmm. to show you a better mm-hmm. option. You know? Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. people yeah. just need to I think both sides just need to chill and like yeah. come together and just understand both sides, yeah. you know? Yeah. So a lot more listening needs to happen. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah, definitely. Well, I want to hear quickly about your your hairstylist. You're yes. a fashionista. <laughs> so I just want, I'm curious how being vegan ties into all of that. And mm-hmm. do you have to, you know, check with professional ingredients and stuff if they're cruelty free, if they're vegan? Mm-hmm. Do you? I do. Okay. I do. Um, I first started with my beauty products. I only use vegan and cruelty free products. Um, shampoo and conditioner can be a little tricky, yeah. but there are a lot of products out there that are cruelty free. So, um, and they're good. Mm-hmm. So I don't really come across any obstacles with that. Mm-hmm. And my clients, they don't care what I use as long yeah. as their hair turns out great. Yeah, so, um, <laughs> that's great. It's amazing. So. Yeah. That's awesome. awesome. Thank you. Um, I think it's important too, because there's not a lot of talk in the beauty space about vegan and cruelty free products. So mm-hmm. it's great to have a professional in the space that's like, you know, unapologetically using vegan and cruelty free products because yeah. that can help. You can help educate so many people just in your chair on mm-hmm. like, yeah, this is, you know, and it's vegan and cruelty free. And then people are thinking like, what's that mean? And hopefully making, you know, yeah. better choices yeah. for the future. Thank you for that. Yeah. I've never thought about educating my clients. Yeah. Hmm. <laughs> you do, I'm you inspire, sure. Because you inspire them with what yeah. you're using and if they have questions about it. It's like, oh, I use vegan cruelty free. Oh, why? X, Y, and Z, and they're like, huh. Like, it's a lifestyle, you know? That's true. Yeah, you're completely crushing it. You're breaking stereotypes. You're amazing. Keep creating. We're so happy to have had you. Yeah. We're gonna need you on again. We oh, can, do us yeah. all in life. <laughs> we can like invite you to do a taste test with us. Something. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Yes. That would be amazing. If you guys ever, do you guys have cooking segments? We want to. We should start. We yeah. best think yeah. about it. Yes. yes. To be fair, I works. feel like Joy is the only one that's like a cook. Right. You know, oh. But we the would love. Us- you to teach us. Yes. Yeah. Your knowledge. Let's do something. Okay, we could do something yeah. together. Yeah. <laughs> hey. Comment below if you want to see that. Yes. <laughs> but you're going to see it whether you want to or not. Yeah. <laughs> but still, let us know. Oh, and I last question. If you were on a deserted island, what would be the mill, your last mill that you would have there with you? Oh my gosh. <laughs> Probably the cabbage I made. Oh my wow. Gosh. Okay, is that on your Can Instagram? I have that recipe? That recipe? Yes. yes. Okay. I, I, I love, love the recipe. It's so good. I love cabbage too. And that's yeah. t- that says I, I want that for yeah. dinner tonight. That yeah. sounds so sounds good. Are you going to cook it? No. <laughs> it's you <really> are. <laughs> Come over. <laughs> okay. hey, is it pretty easy? It's very easy. I okay. think the. Like yeah, hang out with my baby. <laughs> <laughs> I think the, the part that's. Um, it's just time consuming as far yeah. as like roasting it in the mm-hmm. oven, but as far as making it, it's, it's very easy. Okay. And I eat the whole cabbage head. Oh, yeah. 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 I would. Yeah. yeah. So y'all might need to make like two. Bye bye, me. Well, make sure you follow Derica. We're going to link everything below. Keep up with her and support her. And if you need your hair done, hit her up. <laughs> um, and thank you so much for watching this video. Make sure you subscribe, like it, send it to a friend, join our Patreon, and we'll see you next week for another episode of The Vegan View. Bye. Bye. Bye.